Rabbi Kaplan, we're continuing. And, and, and then if somebody is that kind, he goes up to Duchen and he's barefoot, altogether barefoot. I don't even know if it's mutter to go up like that. Good, I don't know oh, where we're, but the Kanyan base of Mikdash did walk barefoot. Oh, sir, we have the Mishnah Burr, it's awesome. Mishnah Burr says we have Moshe, it's awesome. Moshe, Moshe Feinstein, it's awesome. Yeah, oh, oh, so something like this. And what did this Rabbi Rafi write over there? The whole thing of a rabbi, a rope should come so for Rafi as Bechlai said. Where, where, where's the covet? There's a certain covet to her. Certain covet to somebody that represents her. What's a rab Rafi? What kind of nusr? Good, I better not talk too much. Uh, mention names, we might get into trouble. More but, uh, than but, um, but it all, it all comes from this new a way of thinking of we are now a nation, a state, and the yid as a new tzura. We can't go on with the tzura that a yid had in the Golos. And Lanir's deity, that's treif. And that was... Now, when Rav Cook said these ideas, how far did he want to go with them? You know, you can't know. It, maybe it was just ideas that he had in his head in that moment. That, that's, that's where his drugs took him to that. That's where his high took him to, to say such things. But he didn't mean that it should really be that way. He didn't mean it to really become a new tura, a new tura of a yid. I don't know if he meant that. And Bechlau, I think that the letters from him that he wrote, you shouldn't change the Havara. Like they say, Baruch Atah. Of Cook didn't say like that. He said, Baruch Ato. I think he even wrote that you shouldn't change. Did you ever hear that? Yes, I heard it. Yeah. So... But the problem is, it's not his fault, right? It's not his fault. But he was he gave a mokum to be toa, a mokum to make a mistake he gave. And it's tragic. And it's a rachmanus. Because he was a big tzedek, and he was a odom godom. And you see, I always say, that there's two ways of knowing uh, the greatness of a great man. One way is to read stories about him. But there's another way to read the things he wrote. They, they, when, you read, when you read the things he wrote, you see what was inside. You see his, what was in his heart. And that might even be a better way of knowing his greatness. You see, look at the Chofetz Chaim. Chofetz Chaim, we know, we know a lot of stories about the Chofetz Chaim. But if you read his Musa's farm, you see what he wrote. Like, he writes things like, it's a pellet to me. How could somebody, he looks for all kinds of ways to be, to make more and more money. And why can't he look at ways to make more and more ruchni? It's like, it sounds so naive to us. What do you mean, uh, we look for ways to be kind of ruchnius, but you don't see the ruchnius with your eyes. But the Chavetz, I know, the Chavetz, you, 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 you can get a glimpse into the heart of the Chavetz Chaim, that the Chavetz Chaim, Mamish, he saw ruchnius was a reality to him. Olamaza was a reality. It's a metzius. So how can a person sit around and not look for ways to be kona more and more alamaba? He's asking Akasha the Chofetz Chaim. That's another way of seeing what a person is. And if you look in Rav Cook's farm, you see, you see that he was high. He was excited. He was close to Hashem. But, 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 but where's the practical side of everything? Look, look what told us you put out. And when you read the book of from Rustak, I would I after finishing to read that book I said he was a tragic figure. He tried and he tried and he tried to do things, to make things, to to create a certain tura of a yid and he and he failed, he failed. Um uh, with this I wanna finish our talk right now. 
The truth is, somebody might ask, what, so what's it not get to us? What do we have to know all this for? I really don't know what to answer. What do we have to know all this for? The producer asked me to talk about it. I'm talking about it. But it could also be that you have to know because we come across these people. And a lot of them are very nice people. And a lot of them are Tommy de Chachom. And we should be nice to them. And we should be friendly to them. And we should live Bishalom. But we have to know what, how, how, how to how to, how to look at how to look at their their way of life, and Hashem should help us that it should be bam as it should be v'nigul kvod Hashem. Hashem should come by korv and we should be yachad shivtei shon. It should be yeda kol pol gato baalto, and 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 we see and all these all these uh, differences and and. Uh, Talk all this talk should uh, we shouldn't have to talk about it anymore. Because we should be so good to the Amen we Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Kaplan.